guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Um, today's Q&A is going to be about how I started my drawing business and some realities that I have faced with it. Um, I've had a couple of questions that I thought I'd just kind of, I guess, put together um, because they fall into the same topic, I guess. So um, the first question is, how did I learn to draw? And then I will get into when I started making um, money from my drawings. So um, I learned to draw mainly from YouTube. YouTube has been the best resource available ever. It's just been amazing. Um, I've learned just about everything. I feel like if you have YouTube, you don't have to go to school. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that, but um, in terms of learning my um, my sense of style, I guess, I eventually discovered my style by watching hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos on YouTube. So um, I have three channels that are my favorite channels on YouTube. The first one is um, of another artist. Her name is Lisa Clough and her YouTube channel is Lockery Fine Art. And the amount of resources and information that she has available to you is just to infinity. It's, it's a crazy amount of information and useful information. She covers things that you wouldn't even think of until the time comes. So it's, it's very good to use her as a resource to um, get all the information you require to not only become an artist but to improve your technique and to find ways to approach things, whether it be social media, whether it be you know your day-to-day -day artist life, or whether it be the work that you're doing and the people that you're dealing with. The amount of information that she has available to you is just the most useful I have found ever. It's, it's, it's that good, so, and it's free, so it's just amazing that she's able to provide this for you and you're not going to find many people like her because seriously she dedicates like 80 hours a week to doing these things for us for nothing so it's it's pretty insane finding people like that it's not often that that happens so we're very very lucky to have her um so yes she is my number one go-to place when I want motivation or if I feel like I need to improve my technique or pick up some other ideas or skills or whatever and to just get encouragement to keep moving forward. She, she's really good so um, have a look at her. Um, the other channel that is my favorite, uh, one of my favorites is another artist and I wish, I absolutely wish that she did tutorials or just was a little more available I guess to her followers. I guess she doesn't have to be because she's just that fantastic. Um, her name is Heather Rooney and she does color pencil drawings that look exactly like photographs. She mainly does celebrities and like sports stars and that's all she does is she will just draw these people and it just looks photo real. It's the, the amount of detail is just I don't know it's unreal. I, I I don't think there are many people that are able to capture such intense detail in people. So um, I just love watching her work and um, I'm not sure a lot of, about a lot of her, her methods because they sped up so quickly you can't exactly see what she's always doing. Um, she doesn't explain it either. I guess she all she does is just makes her time lapse videos available but um, they are pretty cool to watch. Um, my third favorite YouTube channel um, that I've been learning from is called the five pencil method. Now they mainly use graphite pencils but they teach you observation, they teach you techniques um, that help you find realism. If you are looking to draw realistically they are a very good um, I guess resource to have a look at because they teach you so many methods of observation and so many methods of putting realism down on your paper. Um, so what to look for, how to find, you know, find information that's right in front of you that a lot of us won't really take note of um, until later or until we find that, oh, I just can't get something right but I can't pick up what it is. Usually they can tell you. I've, I've found a lot of mistakes that I've made um, 
after watching their videos, I'm like, oh, okay, I can understand why it's not working out. The main issue is, is value for me, but anyways. Um, so yes, those are my three favorite channels, and those YouTube videos are pretty much what I have used to learn how to draw. It's um, as simple as that, really. And um, they help me develop my skills, and they've eventually helped me find the techniques like, that I like to use the most, and I uh, just kind of stick to to those methods. Um, another, a good reference for you guys um, if you want to start a drawing business is to get the book called Art Inc. by Lisa Congdon. And um, these ha this book contains a lot of interviews from multiple different artists with complete different styles and it helps you find out how these artists have become successful and it also gives you tips and tricks on how to how to make your business work and succeed and keep it carrying on and keep it going all the time so it's a very good book to have I definitely used it a lot when I officially started my business um, so yeah have a look at that okay the next question is um, when did I start drawing for an income um, I only started drawing for an income but not for the intention of doing this permanently, but I started drawing um, for money, I guess, in January last year, so January 2014. Um, I was doing casual work and just in my spare time I would do drawings and it got noticed and people started asking me if I would do drawings for them. And then I started doing drawings for like $10, $20, um, and then some of them I would do for $50. Um, even if they were drawings, it took me like 30 or 40 hours to draw. Um, I'd still charge next to nothing, um, which I think is okay because in the beginning as an artist, you are still discovering your techniques, you're discovering yourself, you're discovering what it is that you really want to get into and you're also discovering how to make things work. No one ever knows how much to charge, no one ever knows what their work is really worth, so it takes time to work all those things out. But um, yes, so last year, January is when I started um, drawing for money and I um, eventually just kept building up my skills. And then in February this year, um, I became a registered business because I felt confident enough that I would keep getting people um, ask me to do drawings and that I could make this a um, somewhat successful business. So uh, yes. Um, and then the last question is how do you promote yourself? Um, I use social media. Social media is the key of today. Um, that's pretty much the only method I use. I know there are more methods I could use to promote myself. That is honey moving around on the beanbag. Getting comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, the main method I use to promote myself is my social media channels. So Facebook, um, my YouTube videos, um, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website. But um, my website, I've noticed, doesn't get used half as much as the social media sites do. So social media is free, so use it to do as much as you can um, to promote your work. And um, yes, so... That is pretty much it. So I taught myself by using YouTube videos as a reference because it's a great free resource out there. Um, I also use YouTube to find out how to run a successful business and that book called Art Inc. also helped a lot with that. Um, I only started drawing last year so I hope that that can give you some encouragement to show you that you can grow quite quickly if you practice and you keep doing things you could practice makes perfect like whatever drawing you're doing the next ones it's just going to get better and better and better and you're going to develop your skill more and more and more and you'll eventually be satisfied with what you have and what you're able to offer um so yeah so i used all those at my disposal so that i could start um a successful drawing business so um some realities that you are going to face is I'm sure you know what the first one is. The first one is that making money is going to take time. The only reason that I 
am able to do this full time is because my partner is able to, I guess, sustain our lifestyle and our way of living while I try and build up my business. If it wasn't for him, I'd still be working and this would probably just still be a hobby. Um, so that is one of the things that kind of makes it a stopping block for people to um, kind of keep building their business. Um, so it is a bit scary, but you can still do it part time. If the passion is there and the drive is there, you can do it. So I have only recently realized, so it's only taken me two years, but I've only recently realized that I need to think of more ways um, to get, I guess, revenue flowing in. The only sense of income that I'm really getting right now is um, from my commissions. So if you want your business to be successful and you want more of a revenue um, stream, you're going to have to find all the different methods and utilize all of them. And then even though some of them pay very little, eventually things add up. So I've decided as an extra, and I've only started that this week, is to provide in-depth step-by-step tutorials with downloadable resources that people can purchase and also um, um, yeah that's pretty much the only new thing that I've done and I also sell my prints of my work and I do sell originals if I have any available but that is the only thing so there are more ways of doing it where I could um, promote my prints in many more websites right now it's only on Etsy and on my on my website I could use um, eBay and there are quite a few others that I could use um, I could do workshops and classes potentially to get the extra income um, I could go to fairs I could do raffles things like that those are all things that you need to think about um, if you want to make I guess a realistic amount of money that could support a living um, so yes that is going to take time don't let that um, defer you from continuing um, just know that it's going to take time and once you get there it's you're there so um, just be patient and keep persevering and it will all happen eventually um, so yes that is the main reality and probably the most important one the other reality that I found I faced, and it was quite a bit shattering before I could really move on, I guess you could say, is in the beginning I had a lot of people tell me that they did not like my work. So um, that is going to happen. You are going to get people um, that are not going to be satisfied with your work, and that's okay. That you, you just get them. So um, if it is a customer or a client that is... Um, unhappy with what you're doing for them then you can either give them a refund if they have paid something or you can redo the work usually with them though they're not being mean they um, usually have pretty good reasons and they just you know want to make sure that they're getting the best that they can from you and if you think that you can give them that then redo it but if you think that you can't then just fairly tell them I'm sorry I can't do this for you um, so I'm just going to provide you with a refund. You can do that. You are allowed to do that. Um, then you get a whole other category of people, um, people that just critique your work without you asking for it. And a lot of them can critique them quite harshly. And um, it's, it's just unnecessary, I guess. And then you get people that are just flat out mean. So those are people that you um, can just ignore and move on. I always just focus on the followers that do support my work and that do enjoy my work. Those that have comments that are unnecessary, um, I just feel like they don't have to be looking at my work. If they aren't happy with it, then why, why, you know, follow me? You don't have to do that. So I just know that a lot of them do it deliberately. Um, so I just ignore it, really. So don't don't be unmotivated or don't feel um, like they're attacking you um, because it's just unnecessary and you can just move forward from that so um, do know that there are going to be people that are going to tell you things that you don't want to hear um, listen to them if it's within reason and try and fix it and if it's not within reason then just ignore them simple as that um, 
And just on a final note, have patience, persistence and perseverance. Um, everything works out. The satisfaction that you just get at the end of a drawing is very rewarding. So if you can just continue doing that and see what you end up developing in a year and see how your skills end up improving in as little as a year, you will feel very accomplished. Even if you aren't really getting the money in, it's okay. You will feel very accomplished because you are able to create. You are able to create something from nothing and make it beautiful. And that is what is important. Remember that it's not just about the money. Remember the feelings that you get from doing this and why you do it and why it makes you happy. It, sometimes you do just get so focused on money that you don't enjoy the work that you do anymore. That's when you need to take a step back and remember why it is you do what you do and forget about the rest and move on with it. Um, I do find not anymore but in the past I would do that to myself I would be like why am I even bothering wasting all this time and then I remember that it is because this is what I love so just give yourself that reminder every once in a while and have a look back at what you've managed to do um, okay so that is the Q&A for this week um, tomorrow will be a live session via Periscope, so if you guys want to chat to me in real time, I will put the times and everything on Facebook so you know when I'll be there. And then I will um, see you guys then. Just note that the time that I put in there is GMT plus 8, so it's the time that it is in Perth, Western Australia. So you might just have to kind of work out what the time would be if you are in a different location. Um, so I hope this video was somewhat useful. Keep in mind that I've only been doing this for two years, so I haven't got that much experience. All I can do is offer you the information that I have managed to receive and what's been useful to me, and you can take whatever you think might be useful to you. And um, and that is about it. I just want to offer you the information. It's just my opinions and what I've managed to find out for myself. And if you can utilize any of it, then fantastic. Um, so I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow or next week. Bye!